All right, I've been Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. I'm not going to lie to you. The clickbait on this headline, and I'm not even a clickbait type guy, but th this story was too good for me to pass up. I'm a Los Angeles Lakers fan. I never, I don't talk about that enough, right? I don't talk about it because we suck, right? Hopefully Lonzo Ball can switch things around for us. You know, Telefero going to have a lot of draft coverage coming soon. Um, I'm a Lakers fan. A part of my Lakers legacy is, of course, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol. That's what I've been alive to see. But there are other great stories, like the Robert Orries of the world, the Samari Walkers of the world. The, I know I'm taking it back, guys. And also another guy that has five championship rings with the Lakers, Derek Fisher, who had, has won every championship that Kobe Bryant has won. Derek Fisher is a very interesting cat. Here's why. Um, he talks a great game, and, he, and he, again, Derek Fisher has been through a lot. His kid got sick. He ended up leaving Utah and somehow finding his way back on the Lakers team, which I thought still was kind of crazy. It, it seemed like he was just trying to get out of his deal with Utah to get back to the Lakers. That's neither here nor there. Um, he seems to be this respectable man. I was watching him on Inside the NBA a couple weeks ago with Shaq, and he was just being this respectable guy. But... The reality of the situation is Fisher got a wild side to him too. And it's that damn Tiger Woods effect where these black brothers try to act too damn perfect and their shit stinks too. Derek Fisher, right? He's he's in a good he's in a relationship with Matt Barnes' ex, right? There's nothing there. I mean, that's not my my place to talk about that. The only bit of relevance that is is that he was going through this in the midst of he's about 40, 42, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere around that age. Um, he was going through that in the midst of being a head coach for the New York Knicks. So Matt Barnes ran up into Derek Fisher's crib. They have reportedly got into it over some stuff. We're gonna leave that there. Um, but he's a head coach of a, a basketball team. Now, when you hear the words head coach, right? And I'm talking about from AAU on up at every level. I think head coach, I think grown man. I think been there, done that. Got all that plan out the way. Shouldn't be looked at as somebody getting arrested for DUIs. And now Derek Fisher has been arrested for another DUI. And I'll get to that in a second. When I think head coach, I think a responsible, mature adult that I'm trusting either with A, my life when I was playing as a kid, or B, my kid's life when I do have kids and I let my kids play on a basketball team or whatever it is. I think responsible adult. I think trust right and Derek Fisher who's still looking to become a coach right now in and out of commentating and analyst for TNT I think irresponsible he had a DUI the other day actually his car flipped over or well, we thought it was his car so the the car is registered into glory what is her name Gloria Gavon it's registered not to her it was registered to Matt Barnes. So reportedly, Matt Barnes gave Gloria this car specifically for the kids. And that's the car that she drives. It's a 2015 Cadillac Escalade. Derek Fisher was driving. He was the one who had the DUI, flipped over the car. Thank God both of them are okay. So here's my thing, right? I'm gonna just put some context to this. Matt Barnes gave this woman a car. I'm pretty sure they don't think about every day. Oh, this is the car Matt Barnes gave me. But here's my thing. If I'm Matt Barnes, right? Because this car is in his name. That Anything that comes with that, that comes back to him. Here's my thing. If I'm Matt Barnes, you Derek Fisher. You were in the NBA as well. Even though these guys were teammates. and it, 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 A lot of people call it disrespectful that Fisher is dating somebody that was his teammate. Well, I'm going to leave that alone there too. If you're Matt, if you're Matt Barnes, here's what I'm thinking. You are a professional basketball player where you were, you were a head coach, you've made your money. Why in the hell are you allowing your girlfriend, wife, whatever it is, to drive a car that I bought? If if it's such a bad taste in the mouth, and some of this blame gotta go to Gloria, is this story is so messy. It's so clickbaitish the fact that Derek Fisher wrecked a car that's technically Matt Barnes. I couldn't even steer away from it. I want.
want y'all opinions on this story. So here's what I'm breaking down. We're going to talk about this in the comment box below. I don't have that much of an opinion. I just think it's corny on Fisher's part to even allow, let it get to this point. So Derek Fisher wrecked a car that's in the name of Matt Barnes DUI. So now Matt Barnes might be responsible for anything that comes with this legally um, because obviously Fisher flipped the car over and it's not even a car he was driving. He bought the car for the person that Derek Fisher's dating now, which is Matt Barnes' ex-wife. He has kids with this woman, and it's all down here for Derek Fisher. But it is a clickbait story, nevertheless, and we loving that content this morning. Talk to me in the comment box below. What do you think about this situation? I go by the name of Alfred Telefair. You can only turn to Mr. Telefair TV. Thank you for the time and support. Don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at